Who will rid me of this turbulent priest? In the year 1170, King Henry II supposedly uttered these famous words, words that would lead to the murder of his Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Becket. The murder of one of England's leading churchmen in his own cathedral caused an outcry across Europe and led to one of the greatest clashes between the medieval state and church. When Henry II became king in 1154, he inherited a kingdom emerging from a long and bloody civil war. From the very start of his reign, he was determined to restore law and order, to reassert royal power, and recover what the king saw as his traditional rights over the church. To this end, Henry intervened in church appointments, seized the revenues from vacant bishoprics, and insisted that no baron could be excommunicated from the church without his consent. As part of the king's plan to regain control over the church, when Theobald, Archbishop of Canterbury, the most powerful churchman in England, died in 1162, Henry appointed his chancellor and a close friend and ally, Thomas Becket, to the position. But as soon as he became archbishop, Becket resigned as chancellor, and he and Henry fell out over a number of issues. Firstly, rather than helping Henry assert his authority over the church, Becket became a defender of its rights. In 1163, Becket refused to pay Henry the sheriff's aid from his lands in Canterbury. And when the king formally demanded in the 1164 Constitutions of Clarendon that any church clerks accused of serious crimes be stripped of their clerical office and handed over to the state for punishment, Becket and the other bishops refused. In retaliation, in 1164, Henry summoned Becket to Northampton to answer charges of misappropriation of funds relating to his time as Chancellor, charges designed to force Becket to resign. Again, Becket resisted the King, refused to resign and fled abroad, beginning his six-year exile. During this period, Henry snubbed Becket by having his son, also called Henry, crowned as King-in-waiting without the Archbishop being present, as would have been customary. It wasn't until 1170 that Henry, under pressure from the Pope, invited Becket to return to England. However, while the Archbishop thought Henry had abandoned the constitutions of Clarendon, for Henry, they were very much still a live issue. Becket arrived in England on the 1st of December 1170. Restored to his position and emboldened, he set about suspending the bishops who had been involved in crowning Henry II's eldest son in his absence, along with excommunicating the Bishop of London. When news of Becket's actions reached Henry, he supposedly uttered the now famous phrase, will no one rid me of this turbulent priest? However, the words that the king actually uttered are more likely to have been, what miserable drones and traitors have I nourished and brought up in my household who let their lord be treated with such shameful contempt by a low-born cleric? Four of the king's household knights heard these words and decided to act upon them, setting out for Canterbury. When they found Becket in his cathedral, they tried to arrest him, but when he resisted, he was hacked to death. The murder of Becket sent shockwaves throughout Western Europe. Henry was met with a wave of anger and disgust. Soon afterwards, a cult of sainthood developed around Becket's remains, entombed at Canterbury, one that would remain popular right up until the Reformation. So powerful was the memory of Becket that even Henry was forced to bow to it, as we shall discover in our next video.